Every rose has its thorn, only the good die young. Slow and steady wins the race, and money, money can't buy you happiness. Except that in reality, there are several types of roses that don't have thorns. The good and the bad occasionally do die young. Fast and steady beats slow and steady every single time. And money, money can buy you happiness. You just got to do it right. First off, I'm sure as a youngster and numerous times as an adult, you were told money can't buy you happiness. <laughs> hey, this is the life, huh? And they say money can't buy happiness. That's mostly true. There is a way for you to spend your loy, and it absolutely will bring you happiness. Let me tell you a story. In early 2018, I was watching uh, random YouTube videos while laying in bed, and stumbled across this video that said, Can money buy happiness? Okay, I was intrigued. Was it true? It sounded plausible. So, I had to watch it. That video proceeded to tell me that spending money on other people can bring you happiness. And for me in my life, I wholeheartedly agree 100%. But there had to be something else. Why did I click on that video? That couldn't be the only way money could bring you happiness. Oh, wait a minute. Why did you click on this video? The further I got into the video, I started talking about purchasing experiences and not items. It said that experiences will last a lifetime and will never lose its value. Now that was the wisdom I was looking for. It all started to make sense. As I started thinking about this, I realized that I had been throwing cash into the gun safe at the end of every day. Anything under a 20, I just tossed it in there. Uh, sometimes it was two bucks, other days it was more. Uh, I prefer to use cash. Uh, back in the States, it was my way of budgeting. Physically watching the cash flow leave the wallet definitely helped me spend less. All right, back to the story. So I decided to open up the gun safe, count the cash that I had in there. I had a little over three grand of cash, and I was like, shit, what do I want to buy? And then it hit me. The whole reason why I was counting out the cash is because I just watched this video talking about purchasing experiences. So I was like, I need to go on a vacation. Where have I always wanted to go? What what part of the world have I fascinated about for a long time? And it hit me. I was like, Dublin. Dublin, Ireland. I've always wanted to go to Dublin. Okay, so this is like 4 a.m., by the way. So I threw the cash into a backpack, walked down to the ATM, and deposited it straight into the checking account. Walked back home, opened the laptop, busted out trip.com. I was like, man, when do I want to go? What's, what's the weather going to be like? And I was like, St. Patrick's Day. Fuck the weather. You want to go to Dublin on St. Patrick's Day. So, booked the flight, booked the hotel. So the next day, I called up my boss, told him that I needed the time off. He wasn't exactly thrilled. So, I did what any self-respecting person would do, and I gave him a 45-day resignation notice. But I also informed him about two weeks after that time that I'd be looking for work and would love to work for him again. Needless to say, he gave me the time off. Thanks, Ken. All right, so I'll tell you straight up. It was a long-ass flight, a long-ass layover in Germany. And when I finally got to Dublin, it snowed like five times. Hell, it snowed in the middle of the damn parade. But I was in Dublin. I did all the goofy touristy things that you're supposed to do in Dublin. Hell, I even got a tattoo. Walked around and got lost at 2 a.m. because I made the wrong turn. I watched the Shamrock Rovers win a home match against St. Patrick's at Tollett Stadium. I ate the best potatoes I've ever had. At a Centra, served in a coffee cup. Now, of course, I paired these fine potatoes with an exquisite can of Red Bull. You know what else I did? I went shopping. I bought gifts for friends and family back home. Because spending money on other people really does bring me joy. I did, however, buy something for myself. I decided to start a tradition. Every country that I go to, I'm going to buy a football jersey. Soccer jersey. And yes... This is the jersey that I purchased in Dublin in 2018. So that entire adventure was all inspired by a single YouTube video that wasn't even three minutes long. 
Now this YouTube video, the one that you clicked on, is based on a trip to Dublin that was inspired by a YouTube video sharing the same title as this, Can Money Buy Happiness? How cool is that? I've been advised that click-through traffic on YouTube is important to growing my channel. I think it's more important, however, to share the video that inspired me. It's right here, by the way. So I hope it inspires you. The inspiration of others in this case is far more important than growing this silly YouTube channel. I can try more with the old robot in your book.